In this video, we're going to talk about uh, drilling, uh, single holes, and also introduce the concept of parametric programming. So let's make a new program. When we, when we click the New button, uh, or the New Program button, we'll get a new program that's empty, but it has the, the dimensions of whatever program we had open previously. To go up and change our panel dimensions, let's go to Piece Parameters, and let's put in a length of 24 by 6 by one inch. And we can program an inch or metric and note that the, the length of the panel is 24, the height or we might commonly call it the width, it's referred to as the length is 6 and the thickness is 1. Alright, so let's go in and we'll introduce and show you how to do drilling but also talk about parametric programming at the same time. Let's drill a hole at x1, y1 and make it a half inch deep. We'll go over to the drilling command and we'll click on the first command which is just a single hole and let's put the hole at x1, y1 and make it a half inch deep. Then we have to pick a diameter of the drill. We have the option of drilling by tool number but it's, um, it's much more convenient to drill by diameter and then let the machine decide if it has multiple drills of the same diameter. Let it pick the, the, the drill that uh, is needed. It's rare that we need to program by an actual tool number, so um, it's much more flexible to program by diameter. So let's make, um, we want an 8 millimeter drill, and I can type this two ways. Since we're in inches, I can't just type 8 because uh, it'll, it'll interpret that as an 8 inch diameter drill. I can say 8 divided by 25.4, and it will do the math for me. It will understand this and, and do the math behind the scenes. Or if you prefer, you can put in the inch equivalent of 8 millimeters. Uh, I prefer 8 divided 25.4, so I always know exactly what um, uh, 8 millimeter drill or what, what diameter drill that was in metric without having to think about the conversion. Okay, so this gives us an 8 millimeter drill at um, X1, Y1. And as we can see in our 3D view, it's, um, we can see the depth of the hole and it's a half inch deep. All right, so let's say we want another hole on this end. We want it an inch from the bottom, but an inch from this left edge, from this right-hand edge. Excuse me. So if there's two ways to do that, if we uh, parametric program is the simplest way, and just to uh, better illustrate it, let's program a hole that's not parametric. Um, so our x value, if we want it to be one inch from this edge, if we look down at the bottom of the screen, we know that our panel dimensions are 24 by 6 by 1. So if I want to hold one inch from that edge, then I can just change and put this to be 23 inches. So that gives us a hole 20, one inch from that edge. However, this is not parametric. If I go in and I change the panel dimensions to something other than 24, like 18 for example, now we have a problem. This hole is still at an x value of 23, but that's out here in space somewhere and that doesn't, that doesn't do us any good. So let's go back, let's use the undo or the cancel command. Gets rid of that hole we just programmed, we're back to one hole. And let's program it parametrically this time. So let's go back, go back to the drill command. And as you notice, when we, when we add a, another line after, um, after our first one, or after any line, it comes up with the dimensions of the previous line. That's uh, normally very handy, because um, you, then you only have to change what um, the values that are, that are different. So in this case, the only thing I want to change is the, um, the x dimension. And to write this parametrically, um, I just want to say the length of the panel minus 1. And I do that simply by saying L minus 1. And um, our parameters for length, height, and thickness, you can always see at the bottom of the screen here, L, H, and S. And you can see what those dimensions are currently. But this is just a reminder that L is for length, H is for height or width and S is for the thickness. So when we hit OK, then we get our hole that's one inch from the edge and just, and just to illustrate the parametrics, if I go back to a 24 inch long panel, then that hole follows that length and is still one inch from that edge. So that in a nutshell is, is um, the, the concept of parametric programming. We're basically giving dimensions based on a uh, formula uh, for, the, for the length or the height or the thickness. So let's go back and do another another hole and let's um, let's have it up in this corner so we'll have to use parameters for the length and the height. Let's 
go back and add another hole and again our parameters from the previous hole carry over so I've already got length minus one here so all I need to do now is go to um, the Y value and that's going to be height minus one or H minus one now we have a hole in this corner if we want a fourth hole in the upper left corner then we simply go back and change the X dimension of that one which is just one now we have a hole in each corner and no matter what size panel we make then then our holes remain one inch um, from each edge from each edge of the panel so that in a nutshell is is the um, is how we do parametric programming and to show you and to go ahead and, and look at a different command let's go back and put um, let's go back and put our panel dimensions back now another command that can do the same um, parametric programming but even do it more quickly uh, is the symmetry command here so this is very similar to what we've just done so let's go back and undo each of these holes and, and start with our first hole at one and one so let's take this hole and if we want this hole uh, parametrically programmed on this edge we can simply go to the horizontal symmetry command and it comes in and it assumes that you want this um, your mirror quote to be the length of face the length of the panel divided by two and if that's the case if that's what you want then you can if you say duplicate these workings if you say yes you'll get an extra hole here if you were to say no then it would actually get rid of this hole and move it to the other end but let's say yes and now we want uh, we now have two holes now if we want these two to be mirrored to the top of the panel then we could do them one at a time or more conveniently we could just select them both and there's a couple of ways we can select them I can hold the control key down click on this hole and now you can see that they're both highlighted here in the code and they're both pink so we know we have them both selected I can also hold the shift key down on the keyboard and draw a window around them both that's this is a lot more convenient when you're selecting a lot of different commands or a lot of different holes or routes um, on the panel but in any event we want to uh, select both of these holes and then go to the vertical symmetry command and our Y quote is already filled in height of height of the face divided by two and let's duplicate it and we now have the same program or the same parametric program written with with very little data input uh, again we can go back to our panel dimensions change it and we still have a parametric program that changes as we change the length and height of the panel so in this next video we'll continue to look at more drilling but we'll talk about um, what you saw in this uh, symmetry command which was not just length of the panel but length of face or LF HF. We'll talk about what that means and, and how that can help you.